great day great day great day and a terrific tuesday to you also it's a tuesday of turbulence so we're gonna have to move through it and we're gonna have to keep on pressing through because listen 2014 is your time this is your time it's from here to eternity so let's keep moving we are on session 63 and every time i look at this and it goes up one day i am excited it was a rough morning for me because i woke up i woke about about 15 minutes late which throws off my whole time scale because i have to you know like everybody else i have to get stuff ready but i started getting up like an hour and a half two hours early so that i could do all my exercises and make sure that i'm able to broadcast my show uh for you as well as for myself but i woke up a little bit late today and it threw me off and as i was doing some yoga i was feeling my body or i call it yoking as i was yoking <laughs> I was I was feeling my body and it's it's like it wasn't in tune and 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 the mind was extremely well, I ain't not gonna say hard but I wasn't into it this morning so I'm running and once again I'm like you know what what am I gonna discuss and I know that I'm coming from the players pyramid at least the updated version um you can get this book at uh www.giamijourney.com you can also look it up on amazon or you could get it at create space you know just go to my um go to my website www.giamijourney.com and you can check out the book now i'm moving through my book because i've already moved through it um after we start talking about breaking down habits and and i um use this the seven tools that i have so now we're going through the principles so um I'm, I'm struggling um, with some concepts of work and some ideas of work. I'm constantly trying to think of how can I improve where I'm at for the children that I work 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 for. Um, I, I, I'm doing uh, a Saturday groups and I'm very excited about that. And I'm thinking how can I improve that? And and um, one of the major things that that keeps popping up for me. Is this whole self-esteem kick where everybody has to feel good. Everybody has to feel good. I want you to listen to that. Everybody has to feel good. Now, in the beginning, in order for the universe to, to, to exist, there had to be this paradoxical thing called opposites these two things that were total total opposites had to exist in order for the universe to exist it's also known as polarity i mean you can look this up in science so if everybody feels good would that not shut down the whole damn universe and collapse everything and back to the 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 the, the, the um the one point before the big bang Everybody can't feel good. As a matter of fact, if everybody feel good, we wouldn't make any progress. It's only through the struggle. It's only through the pain. It's only through the disappointments that people get up and make changes. People, come on now. Uh, listen, those of you that, that are with me on the journey and you look at me and be like, yo, um, I want you to help me on the journey. Realize that I'm going to break your ass down. Excuse my language. I, I, I usually don't cut. I'm going to break you down. That is my job. I have to do that. I have to challenge. And when you come to me to be coached, when you go to any real good coach, they are going to break you down. They might do it in a nice way. Some of them might be very aggressive. Some of them might be very nice. But anybody that's truly invested in you, that you look up to or look towards for some guidance if they are not breaking down the stuff that is messing you up if they're not crumbling it and breaking it to pieces so that you can observe it for yourself you are not with a true teacher if they're not doing that 
See, because a teacher needs to reflect you back to you. And oftentimes, they have to do that by breaking you down. That's what it's about. That's what how the muscles get stronger. They break down. That's how your brain gets stronger. It breaks down and rebuilds. Now, everybody don't make it through the rebuilding process. See, people want to just romanticize this whole rites of passage thing. But really, when it comes down to a rites of passage, was about breaking. Breaking and rebuilding. Breaking and rebuilding. Creating and destroying. Or better yet, destroying to create. As a matter of fact, I think I heard somewhere that in order for the man to live, the boy must die. When I became a man, I put childish things behind me. Come on now, I'm sorry. I ain't even get to get in one. I'm, 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 I'm that that was the pre cue. Uh, the, the you know. So now let's get to it. Now, yesterday we talked about the principle of Imani creativity. I mean, in, um, faith. And we're gonna talk about creativity today. But I wanted to stress these points to you. This is in the book, page thirty. The first things that you have to identify. Wait, let's say when the power of our mind is working through faith, it does not distinguish between what is good for us or what could do us great harm. So the first thing we must do in order to lay the base stones of our pyramid is ask ourselves. And I want you to think about this. This is dealing with Imani. What do I believe about myself? What do I believe about the universe that I live in? What do I believe about my future? Who or what do I place my faith in? Are the people or things I put my faith in worthy? Am I worthy of my own faith? I want you to roll these questions around in your head. Go back and re re rewind a little bit. And I want you to roll these questions around in your head. Alright? And I want you to really think about them. Now I want to get to creativity or unleashing Kaumba in your life and I'm gonna make this real quick and I'll do a rehash um, tomorrow like I did with uh, creativity I mean like I did with faith creativity Kaumba um, of course we know it's creativity um, the word of power is Kaumba the color is orange the element is earth the number is six the day is Saturday all right. Now I'm gonna read real quick. This is page 34. Um, but hold on. Here's something from the. Uh, here, here's something from one of my favorite books, The African Openness to the Tree of Life. Laws of creation work by the com conversion of energy. Laws of creation and creating work by the conversion of energy. All right, think about that. Now that we have established the importance of faith, we now move. Uh, we now move to the next level in our pyramid. We believe in our ability to accomplish our goals. We have faith in our skill to succeed. Now we must apply our faith and put it into action. How do we do this? We use creativity. Out of all the principles, this is the one that directly connects us to our higher power. This is the major characteristic in us that makes us divine. Our ability to create. We have the ability to take nothing and create something. This comes naturally to us, but many of us suppress this skill. In this section, we will learn how this power works and how we can use it to assist us in our life once we establish the belief in ourselves once we establish the faith in who we are it opens the door for us to unleash our creativity see we take all that doubt that we had we take all that pain that we had we take all that sour sorrow that we had which are energies and we use the laws that our ancestors, our ancestors left for us and convert it into something. Creation, here go the, here go the quote, creation, laws of creation work by the conversions of any, the conversion. You take one thing and you convert it to another. So we take that sorrow, we take that pain, we take that doubt. We take all those things that have been hindering us and stopping us from believing in who we are and being able to connect with who we are and we convert all that into whatever 
it is we can envision. We take it and we invest that energy. I'm going to listen to the words. We invest that energy into something that's going to give us returns rather than just giving that energy away. Many of us, we use our, we, 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 we abuse our creativity because we create things and we just give them away to people and things that don't even appreciate them. Now, this is Brother Hot Tim. I'm over. I'm going to say peace. Please check out my website, www.giamijourney.com. Be sure to pick up the book, Players Pyramid, because we're working up out of the book. I didn't even, it, it happened. I didn't have nothing else to do. I picked up my book. I said, I'm going through my book. I'm going to keep on going through my book. Because I'm proud of the little bit, bit of work that I didn't put into it. It ain't a little bit of work. The work that I done put into it. Because this is an example of Koomba. Because I, it took me so long to write this book. Because I was fearful of what other people would think. But when I established the first block of my pyramid. My money. In myself. I unleashed that power with myself. I started converting no fears into pages. I started converting those fears into ideas about the principles. I started converting, or oh yeah, I'm using the law of conversion. Using, using that conversion to change it into something useful. All right, this is Brother Hatim. I'm saying peace. You have a great day, and I pray that your day is as beautiful as you are. Peace.